Today I'm going to be covering Baldur's Gate 1 running with sound on a Silicon Graphics Tezro running IREX version 6.5.30. I have two people to thank for making this game available for playing in IREX, and those are namely True Hobbyist as well as Necron2600, who are both members of the IREX Network Forum. A while back, Necron2600 posted a bounty of $1,000 for someone to get Gem RB, which is a portable version of the Bioware Infinity engine up and running in IREX. True Hobbyist took on the challenge, and we now have a working version of Gem RB. So I'm going to start a new game.
appeared more agitated than ever. And now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day, imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel. He has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. I can take Drizzt with both my arms tied behind my back. This container is locked. This container is locked. Apple Blade with your name on it. Your life shall be mine. Your life shall be mine. Your life shall be mine. Your life, your life shall be mine. Your, 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 your life shall be mine. Our rules are very strict. Child, I am glad I have found you. Hey, no. 
Okay, this is the only error that I've encountered thus far, so I'm quickly going to save the game, exit and then return, and then I should have sound again. Okay, I'm going to load the game that I saved. And as you can hear, there's now sound again. So that's the only place that the game has crashed as far as I've seen. And this concludes my demonstration of this game. So as you can see, we've got Baldur's Gate 1 up and running in IREX 6.5.30 on a Silicon Graphics Tesra, thanks to True Hobbyist and Necron 2600. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.